our makeshift bridge over the trench here. You sleeping, River? <laughs> you sleeping? Good dog. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch our video. We appreciate it. So I've got a new piece of flex for the tank. It's the one that I originally wanted. It's actual flexible PVC, two inch. Fits into the uh, couplings and fittings perfectly as if it were a uh, PVC pipe. This wasn't easy. I know I could have ordered it online, but we were going to go down to the, the valley and nobody in our area has two inch flexible PC, PVC. And even down in the valley, Phoenix area, called everywhere and finally found a place. If you're looking for a two inch flexible PVC schedule 40, call your hot tub suppliers. <laughs> That's where you get it from. Otherwise you could order it online. I think Home Depot had it on their website, 25 feet for a gazillion dollars. Or you could just get this little chunk for 20 bucks. Oh, oh. That's not good. Dang it. A few choice words come to mind right now. <sighs> Dag nab it. It's Saturday, and the place I got this valve from, banjo valve, is closed. And I was pretty much ready to start putting water in the tank until I broke it. I have a tendency to over-tighten things. Here, I'll let you see. Nice big crack. Right down the stinking thing. Dag nab it. Just over tighten that just a little bit. And I heard a little pop and I thought it was this breaking. But no, it was the whole stinking valve. Which is made in the USA, by the way. Broke. I didn't even feel like I was, I didn't even feel like it was that tight. I mean, it was tight, but I just wanted to give it one more turn. And that was too much. <sighs> maybe, I don't know, maybe the orange box or the blue box store has something. I don't know. I really was, wanted to put water in this today. 
All right. Um, I'm going to stop for a second, the video, and go over there and scream and yell for like five minutes. I'll, I'll be right back. Well, you've got my reaction. Let's go get a reaction from Natalie. <laughs> oh, man. I don't remember how much this thing cost, but I know it wasn't cheap. It's like 60 or 80 bucks. <sighs> it's a setback. Nat! Can you come out here? Oh, I got something to show you. Oh man, okay. That's always. Um, I broke something very bad. No, you didn't. Here. Oh gosh. Yeah, you did. I know. I uh, was putting the connector in. Yeah. That side and just wanted to go just a tad more, you know, and I'll, then I was going to be done and then pop. Broke. Yeah. See, <sighs> right down. I can't see it. You're right in the sun without you. Right down the side and you can see it on the inside. I don't know. If I can see it on video. It's hard to see. But it is cracked all the way through. Yeah, it is. Well,. I was at least it's at least well it's just now if, and not if we look on the bright side yeah. um I was I had an option once this was on hold it up oh sorry <laughs> I was I could have gone and started getting water and filling it up and then I could have screwed the other piece in mm. can you imagine screwing that uh, male adapter in and then having it Congrats, break with right. water in it right yeah, that's what I was just thinking. At least it happened now when yeah. you just have to replace it. Or could you imagine if it was like buried or full of water or, you know. Yeah. Well, better not break then after it's know, all right? done. So right. I got to go and. Get an one. Yeah, I'm going to take the water tote with me. Get some water In too. case, well, oh. if I find one, a replacement of some sort, then I'm going to go ahead and get a tote of water. Okay. Okay. Delays. Yeah. I need you to help me load that tote, Water by tote. the way. Okay. Nice job. You're a good helper. All right, guys, I am back from town. And the winner is Tractor Supply. Here's my new two inch ball valve made in the USA, just like the last one. This one is green leaf it looks pretty sturdy you know it's got stainless steel bolts there holding it together my only concern is how long this handle is i think i'll need to get some bigger cinder blocks so i was planning on stacking some cinder blocks around this as we bury it so that we have access to shut it off anyway i gotta get it installed and I could put that water into our tank. Now the problem with that is, <laughs> and I totally forgot, that I've got a huge 
pile of dirt right through here because I opened up the, the trench and extended it that way to put in that last frost-free hydrant. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot about that. But I, I've got a way to get it through. And uh, I was going to leave these trees here for probably a couple more years, but I guess not. I'm going to remove a couple of trees right over here. God, I mean, they're small. This juniper and that juniper. This is where our driveway, right? House is going to go over there. And then the driveway was also going to continue on back here where the shop was going to go back there. So that's okay. It just advances that plan, you know, sooner than I thought. So I'll get this valve on and then I'm going to cut those trees down and cut them low enough to where I can drive over them. Maybe I'll grab the back, go and dig them up. I don't know. I really want to get this water back there and pumping. So whatever the fastest way is. That's good. There it is. In a way, I do kind of like it more than the other one. The body on the other one was like a little bit longer. So my pipe was gonna stick out further. So this, this brings it in a little bit closer. Yeah, not bad. So close it. Now I can put water in it. Got a good path right through here now. We just gotta clean all, clear all this out. Got Rockstar Eli going at it. Good job, buddy. And got Lumberjack Ethan. He was on the sawzall. And what we could cut, we did cut into smaller pieces like those so that we wouldn't have to cut it later. And it'll be sitting over here to dry. That's our way through, right through here. We thirsty. You're thirsty? Okay, you can get a drink. I just don't want to stop though. Oh, you don't want to stop? <laughs> That's probably for where the gutter goes in for your rain system. Dark in there. <laughs> Here, let's get a better look. Do not drop it. You see it? Inside look. Big and dark.
lid within a lid, you know? Filling our tank with the first tote. It's uh, 275 gallons, and so it'll probably put a couple inches in this. Maybe three. This is exciting. Into the tank it goes. <laughs> you yeah, you were right about it looking more beefy. Yeah, it's a big handle. Yeah, it is. But this that whole apparatus is, is shorter. Mm. You know, I like that about it, but the handle is overkill. I know, right? <sighs> you got, you're going to need a lot of space. To... I know, I need Dad bigger just, cinder Dad, blocks. Dad just needs to cut some of it off. No. Yes. Okay, so let's see here. Here's our markings. Let's see. 4,500 way up there, and beyond that will be 5,050 is the max. So all the way down here, here's a thousand feet. How far off the ground is that, hun? A thousand gallons. Or a thousand feet, a thousand <laughs> gallons. Foot and a half feet. That's like a foot and a half, huh? So 275, here's the 500 mark. So. So the middle, right? Close, yeah, right to here. So that's like, yeah, maybe six inches. Yeah. Five inches of water. That'll get it to, up to that. Yeah, look, I'm climbing it. Pretty cool. It is cool. I just got to finish piping it. It'll be cool when this is all full. Then we'll feel very, a lot more water secure, I guess. Yeah. That's quite a bit of water. We're still going to have to use it sparingly like we ha have, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, cool. There's Ethan being a spider monkey. Monkey. All right, I am back at it. It is another day, I'm over here at the shed, powerhouse, pump house, whatever you want to call it. And I have just framed up a form to pour a little cement pad. Had some pallet scraps laying around. Had some of these, a lot of these brackets actually laying around that come in handy. And a bunch of random screws. That's a whole hinge screw. I don't know what kind of screw that is. More over there, you can see it got my little pile of screws that I like to keep because they come in handy, you know, for random stuff like this. So let me show you what this form is for. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but it's a windy day and it's making it cold. It's like 40 degrees, but with like 20 mile an hour wind. Not that fun. Not the funnest conditions, you know, for a desert rat like myself. Ugh. All right, we are down in the pit of despair. Well, no, the pit of happiness. Come around the corner here by the big tank. Got another load of water going into it. All right, this is for down here. Let's see, it's upside down. Uh, this way. Okay. Anyway. Oh, did I make it too wide? It was supposed to go right up by that pipe. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I think these boards were supposed to overlap on the outside. Oh, well. I'll change it. Anyway, this form has to go down in there. Underneath this. I need to pour like a four inch slab and uh, it's all because it's all for this right so I got that four inch slab I'm gonna pour and then I got a, a frame around this and make some walls and basically this will be the valve um, housing I guess that'll come up to you know 
above the dirt. And it's all going to be, and you might think I'm, it, it's a little different doing it this way, but it's all going to be out of cement. I picked all that up this morning. Cement, and I'll reinforce it with some wire mesh. All right, so I got to adjust that little frame and stick it in the ground. And then I can start mixing cement. This flexible hose, it's not that flexible. <laughs> Which I imagine it doesn't really need to be. I don't expect the tank to move a whole bunch. It'll probably hardly move at all since we compacted it anyway. Let's see here. That's probably good enough. Looking good. Turns out I pretty much got the exact amount I needed. Wheelbarrow's empty. I'll let this set up a little bit and go clean clean up the wheelbarrow. Almost forgot to put the mesh in. We're all right, we're all right. Gotta get it in there. I can't believe I almost forgot that. All right. That would be just fine to leave the way it is. There is no need to finish that. It's gonna be underground. But uh, I'm putting a finishing touch on it anyways. <laughs> I've got my float and my finish trowel. Um, hose is kind of in the way, so it'll be kind of hard to do, but. I like making things look good, even when you can't see them at all. Once this is done, you're, you can't see this, unless you got a flashlight and you shine down the box. <laughs> Though finishing that was not needed, it was at least good practice. I gotta frame out the uh, the walls for this. Hopefully, for tomorrow. I don't know. It's supposed to be pretty cold tomorrow.